Okay, so I have this uh, VMware virtual machine that I would like to incorporate into my GNS 1.3.13 topology. Um, so to do this, I'm going to go to Edit in Virtual Network Editor. And I'm going to come down here to where I change settings and allow that. to add a network and so just so that this is easy to remember let's do tm and we'll do okay on that um, I'll leave this one turned on I don't need DHCP services uh, running inside of here I'm going to go inside of this virtual machine settings, go to network adapter, under custom, I'm going to choose via net 10. I will do OK on that. And then I can actually go ahead and power on this machine. I'm going to go back to GNS3. Um, I have a host icon over here on the left. Uh, if I do this to show all of the devices, I uh, pick up host, drop it over here, right click, go to configure, go to host 3, and then one of the things I should have here is VMNet, VMware Network Adapter VMNet 10, and I'll do OK. And so what this does is this creates a connection between this particular icon here and this particular virtual machine that's starting up over here. So if I go into this virtual machine, and I set the IP address up and the uh, uh, default gateway, etc. The same way that I would do if this were a real machine. And then I ping to something else on the topology that I have here. Then, you know, it's going to fully participate in this GNS3 network. So, I'm actually editing this uh, video to add in this section. Because there is an issue when you try to connect an ASA directly to a host. When you do that, you get this message here, which is what happened when I tried to connect this host to this ASA. The solution here is to add a switch in, so just a uh, generic Ethernet switch. You add that in. So uh, we actually, you know, connected here from um, this is that port one here to the switch, and then from here um, down to the host. And so I went ahead and. This is the ASA that's running. It doesn't have any configuration other than an IP address and no shot. I actually set up debug ICMP trace so it would show when I would uh, actually ping. And then over here on the host, uh, we're connected to that VMNet uh, 10 that we set up. And let's find our VMware instance here. Okay, so this is a server. And it is set up at 10, 10, 10, 10. So we see here that it's 10, 10, 10, 10. Um, and so let's go back over to here. Um, I'm going to go back here and ping the 10, 10, one, which is our uh, ASA, and you notice on the left over here that uh, we're getting echo reply uh, indicated on the ASA every time we do a uh, ping over here. So we'll do this one more time. You can watch it over here on the left, which indicates that this is the actual machine that's being Okay, so again, I've uh, set the IP address up here inside of uh, VMware the same way you would do any, uh, as if it was part of a real network. Um, and then here over on uh, GNS3, what we're doing is we are actually setting up the VMNet 10 and it's connected uh, to switch port 2 here. And that's our way to get back over to that uh, virtual machine.